I am Hari Vadwana and I passed my OSCE assessments in November 2019 in my first attempt. I am an Indian qualified lawyer and I passed my bar in 2015. I am presently advising on commercial transactions, arbitrations focused on real estate and general corporate advisory in Dubai. I am also providing pro bono services to expats in UAE since 2018 on employment issues and their potential civil and criminal liabilities on the outstandings with the bank and financial institutions. In India, I was practicing civil and maritime law. Thereafter, in 2018, I decided to move to Dubai to broaden my horizon. Dubai has several jurisdictions, among which Dubai International Financial Center is predominantly based on common law, and it has huge presence of international law firms, solicitors, and barristers from UK. After some research, I knew that being qualified as a UK solicitor would assist me in being at par with my peers who have also graduated from UK. I passed MCT without any assistance of a provider. However, for OSCE, I realized that I would require a provider as OSCE assessments are really detailed in nature and they test you on your practical skills and application of law. After talking to few candidates who have passed QLTS, they have highly recommended OSCE Smart to me. Olga and her team provide personal attention to all candidates and they are always available to deal with queries that candidates may have. OSCE Smart also provides detailed summary video lectures which you can easily refer to. Also, the written synopsis on subject areas can be quite handy before the exam. I cannot stress enough on the importance of mock tests, and this is where OSCE Smart is really good at. I had my mock test scheduled ten weekends before the exam, so in a way, I was put in an exam mode for two months before the exam, and this really helped me in my preparations. Considering I was working full time, I knew that I would require to prepare myself well in advance. I started studying for the OSCE assessments six months in advance, and I had three simple tips. First, reading the OUP books. I have read the OUP books at least two to three times before the exam. Second, mock test, which would put me in the exam-like situation and would test my skills. Third, supplementing the mocks with the summary video lectures and the handwritten notes right before the exam. One key tip that I can give to all the future candidates is that there is no substitute for the OUP books and the mock test. There is nothing like enough mock test. I truly believe that without the assistance of OSCE Smart, I wouldn't have been able to pass my OSCE assessments. And I would highly recommend OSCE Smart to all future candidates. Keep practicing and good luck.